Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy, Dr. Corey Kern here, and today I would like to show you how to use the Katsu Cycle 2.0 to do an awesome pull-up workout. Check this out. All right, guys, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna put the armbands on and connect it to the cycle so we can do a little bit of a warm-up primer before we really get into our working set. So first things first, throw the armbands on. So we got the armbands on, check. We got it connected to the cycle, check. Turn on the cycle, so hold down the little red button. Boop. We are going to start up with a little bit of warm up here. So again, I'm gonna do a pro low. For this, I always like to start with the legs. Those are our biggest muscles. Those are the biggest movers. They get everything going. So again, right back to that jump rope, okay? All you have to do, you just kind of hop in place. And again, it's just like jumping. You can move your arms if you'd like to, just to really get those shoulders warmed up. Today, we're gonna to focus on a vertical pulling motion. Basically, that's a fancy word for real pull-ups. Now, a lot of people can't do pull-ups, and that's okay. Pull-ups are a very important movement, important exercise. As you, uh, as you age, most of the stuff is in front of us, and we don't really do a whole lot of pull-ups, so it really pulls our shoulders into a bad position. It tears up our rotator cuffs. So you really want to balance everything out with some sort of vertical pulling motion. You really want to get your lats and all those muscles in your armpit nice and strong. So do pull-ups. If you can't do pull-ups, I'll show you a good exercise you can do in place of a pull-up. Pop, 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 pop. Doing two cycles of jump roping. So just kind of play around with it. Nice and light, gradually work a little bit more. Don't be afraid to really move your feet around too. You're really wanting to get different angles on your feet. While well, we are in cycle three, cycle number three. So again, going to the pulling motion, legs, I would say, you know, the second most important muscle group would be your back. I mean, you know, you could argue abs and everything really, but we're gonna do about 15, Nice, easy, smooth rows. I think that's like six, seven. I'm alternating my hand position between just the basic thumbs up, pull up overhead, go out wide. You're just pulling on those upper back muscles in every sort of direction. So that was already one cycle and I've lost count. So this is just a warm up. All you really want to do is get those muscles flooded with some, some blood, woke up, get those nerves charged up. Going back to the abs, we're gonna take the TRX down to about knee level. TRX knee level, we're gonna do the old rollout. Wiggle, straps around, get your feet nice and comfy, and you just roll out. Take a deep breath and exhale as you roll out. Roll out. So we're doing somewhere between, uh, I don't know, like 10, 15 of these. And again, this is just trying to wake up that anterior connect chain. When you do pull-ups, you're using a lot of abs. And so you want your abs woke up, ready to play in the game. If not, you're gonna hurt your back. Uh, so abs, butt and abs. It's all about the butt and abs. Okay, we did jump roping, did a little bit of pull. Sorry, it sounded like a bird was dying outside. I don't know what that was. Go back to a little bit of a squat. Now I know we got the bands on our arms. This is just more of a stretch, a dynamic stretch. And we'll get into dynamic stretching as we move through these workouts. It's very important to get into a stretch breathe and come out. You don't really want to hold a stretch too long because then when you do a static stretch, it really doesn't have a whole lot of positive effect on your body. So a few squats, back to jump rope in. I like to count to like 20. Sometimes I'll do the cycle where I'm doing jump rope round with a cycle. But then if I have music on or not really paying attention, sometimes I miss the cycle going in and out. Sometimes there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, where are we at here? We're on cycle number seven. One more set of rows and roll outs. Now, for those of you who have the setup for this, this is a cool variation that you can do. And again, sometimes I just get bored and I play around. And then you still hurt yourself. All right, so you're gonna do a row and roll out. We're gonna take the band about waist level. So you're gonna row, row, and then roll. I don't know if y'all see me. Pull back, row, straight arm, come down, tricep out, suck it in, roll it out, okay? So row, roll out, back and shoulders, abs, chest, triceps, legs, quads, everything else. So this little flow is something you can just sit here and do while it cycles. But we ain't got time for that. Cause today we want to get big old V tapered back. That was the end of the cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and take these arm bands off. We're gonna switch to the leg bands and we're gonna get this party going. So leg bands, everybody.